What's up guys welcome back to the new video I'm your host Yash from Equity Master trying to make market simpler for you thank you for tuning in every week before we move on please note that this video is for information purposes only it's not a stock recommendation and should not be treated as such there's no opinion or view on any stock covered herein with that disclaimer out of the way let's get started in today's video I'm going to talk about some high growth penny stocks that could make some big waves in 2025 You see investing in penny stocks can be exciting especially when you find companies with high growth potential penny stocks usually trading for less than rupees 100 per share offer the chance for big returns as smaller companies they often experience fast growth due to operational expansion strategic partnerships or improved financial performance investors who closely follow these developments can identify stocks that are rapidly gaining traction in the market As we look ahead into 2025 several penny stocks are gaining attention due to the rapid growth these companies are showing strong signs of growth and could deliver significant returns in the future so today let's look at the four fastest growing penny stocks to watch out in 2025 these stocks are filtered using equity masters powerful stock screener keep an eye on these rising stars as they continue to make big waves in the market next year The first stock on our list is Lloyd's Engineering Works. The company is primarily engaged in the design, manufacturing and commissioning of heavy equipment, machinery and systems. It caters to the hydrocarbon sector, oil and gas, steel plants, power plants, nuclear plant boilers and turnkey projects. Some of the products the company manufactures are pressure vessels, heat exchangers, rolling mills, steel melting shops, fin stabilizers and electro hydraulic steering gear coming to the company's financials the company's revenue has grown at a compounded annual growth rate of 107% in the last 3 years the net profit has grown at a cagr of 441% on the back of an offtake in manufacturing and infrastructure push by the indian government the company's growth has translated into healthy return ratios Its return on equity and return on capital employed stand at 26% and 29% respectively. The company also has a low debt to equity ratio of 0.2x. Its role in supplying and manufacturing essential shipbuilding components also makes it a valuable part of maritime infrastructure. The company's clientele includes reputed names such as Cochin Shipyard, Bharat Petroleum, Indian Oil, HP and Finolex. Lloyd's Engineering and Works is currently investing in expanding its capacity to cater to the growing demand for its products. It is also adding new channel dealers, adding new branches, offices and sales workshop to improve its sales. Here's how the company's stock price has moved over the past 1 year. Moving on, the second stock on this list is Infibim Avenues. Infibim Avenues is in the business of software development services. maintenance web development payment gateway services e-commerce and other ancillary related services the company's main aim at present is to emerge as a key player in the artificial intelligence based fraud detection and prevention market infibeam's revenue have grown at a cagr of 67% while profits have grown at a cagr of 30% in the last 3 years This is amid the rising use of digital payments and also a surge in the company's merchant base due to the increased use of digital POS products CC Avenue tap pay among other merchants as the fintech space evolves infibeam looks prepared and is taking the acquisition route by acquiring smaller companies leveraging the recently acquired redif.com the company aims to synergize various digital payment services this includes platform business offerings and AI solutions The company strategy includes developing new digital media technologies. This will involve creating advanced platforms for live events and streaming services. Infibeam Avenues has made an investment of more than rupees 1 billion by creating a new AI hub as an extension to its Gift City hub. Infibeam's return ratio stand low at 4.7% and 6.3% respectively. Promoter holding also stands at a poor 27%. However, The company is almost debt free. Here's how the company's stock price has moved over the past 1 year. The third stock on this list is Shanti Spintex. The company is engaged in the business of manufacturing and trading of denim textile products. 
The company also operates a wind farm and a rooftop solar plant. Shanti Spintex revenue and profit have grown at a CAGR of 65% and 57% in the last 3 years on account of strong demand. The company continued its growth trajectory by delivering the strongest set of financial results for financial year 24. It reported total revenues of rupees 5.1 billion, higher by 37% compared on a year on year basis. Its focus on cost optimization, process improvements and prudent financial management has contributed to its results. The company has been successful in bringing down its debt to equity ratio from 0.7% to 0.26% and strengthen its financial position. The consolidated debt of the company as of 31st March 24 stands at rupees 222 million. In line with its commitment to sustainability, the company has implemented notable initiatives. In 2022, it commissioned a 2 megawatt wind energy power plant in Amreli, Gujarat, contributing significantly to renewable energy generation. Additionally, in 2023, the company installed an 852 kW rooftop solar power plant at its manufacturing unit, further solidifying its dedication to eco-friendly practices. Shanti Spintex has an ROE and ROCE of 17% and 19.5% respectively. Its debt to equity ratio also stands low at 0.26%. However, here's how the company's stock price has performed over the past 1 year. Moving on, the last stock on this list is Easy Trip Planners. Easy Trip Planners is India's largest online travel tech platform that offers travel related products and services through its flagship brand Ease My Trip. It provides end-to-end travel solutions such as airline tickets, train tickets, bus tickets, hotels, holiday packages and other value added services. Easy Trip Planners has seen its revenue increase at a CAGR of 62% and its net profit at a CAGR of 19% in the last 3 years. This was on account of a surge in travel. The company has acquired multiple businesses in the hospitality and travel sectors in the last 5 years to expand its service offerings. It recently ventured into charter solutions through its subsidiary Nutana Aviation Capital. It also has a presence in the insurance sector through its subsidiary Ease My Trip insurance broker Private Limited. The company recently also made headlines with its decision to enter the electric bus manufacturing sector. Ease My Trip is investing rupees 2 billion or 200 crores over the next 2 to 3 years to develop electric buses. This investment includes research and development, product development and establishment of a manufacturing plant with an initial capacity to produce 4000 to 5000 buses. Easy Trip Planners is also expanding into medical tourism, a sector expected to grow rapidly. Recently, Ease My Trip's board approved acquisitions worth rupees 900 million including investments in Rawlings International and P Fledge Home Healthcare. These investments in sectors outside traditional travel reflect the company's strategy to diversify its business and explore new growth areas. In addition to the above, the company has launched scanmytrip.com, India's first travel marketplace on the ONDC network. This platform empowers small businesses, homestays, and travel agents by allowing them to offer services like flights and hotels through a broader digital marketplace. Here's how Ease My Trip share price has performed over the past one year. So there you go. These were some of the fastest growing penny stocks in India. While penny stocks can offer exciting growth potential, they also come with significant risks. While these industries show promise, it's important to remember that penny stocks can be highly volatile and may experience sharp fluctuations. Investors should proceed with caution, ensuring they fully understand the risks. and are prepared for potential losses diversification your investments and not putting too much into a single stock is the key with careful research and a balanced approach these rising stars could offer strong returns but always be prepared for the unpredictability that comes with such investments that's it for today guys don't forget to like this video and share it with like minded investors and make them smart as you are if you have any feedback do let us know in the comment section below See you in the next video guys happy investing